Last time I cut up the old tractor clutch and cover plate to get just the parts we're going to need to make the coupler. Now today we're going to put those parts together. To make sure that the parts that I want to use here are perfectly centered, um, I thought I'd do some cleanup and cutting work on them on the lathe. I do not own a metal lathe, but I'm here at the Milwaukee Makerspace because uh, they have a very nice one right here behind me that I get to use as a member. So for example, all I'm really trying to do here is uh, make sure the parts are concentric. So I've cut a little bit of a step in the back of the Lovejoy to meet this spacer, just so that they go on centered. This is the other spacer. It goes between the clutch hub and the PTO hub. I had to do a fair amount of um, material removal from this piece of scrap metal here because uh, the depression had to be deep enough to handle the clutch hub uh, and then I also had to bore out the hole big enough so that it could take the entire shaft for the PTO hub. So I just kept uh, removing material and then testing it as I went to make sure it was the right size. Hey, look at that, it fits. Cool. Okay, I just finished up on the lathe, and the main thing of what I was trying to do is put a bunch of parts together, but keep them concentric. So, we'll see. Notice how here with the red marker, marker that is a raised lip, um, and then that matches up with the interior diameter of this. So when you put them together, they are centered. They are concentric with each other which is good because they're all going on the same shaft. Likewise, I cut a step into this part right here and squared this bit off. So those go together just like that, nice and concentric. Okay, so back at the tractor, we're looking at the input shaft on the transmission. Notice it's actually two shafts, uh, one with a collar around it. So this goes to the uh, transmission and the wheels, but notice also that it's floppy. It's not supported, whereas the collar around it is rather solid. So that collar is for the PTO, so that's going to be this part, but we also got to make sure that it doesn't go back so far that it's rubbing against that back part. Then we've got a spacer, and then the nub from the clutch, another spacer, and then the uh, Lovejoy. And it looks like that all spaces together pretty well, but I'm also gonna pull on the very back, pull that forward just a hair, and that all looks pretty good, but it's gotta be welded. But the spacing looks about right. Okay, I just tack welded this together. Um, for alignment, I had them on here while I was doing it. Best I could figure out to compress that was uh, uh, using some wire to hold it together. And it's looking like it kept being concentric. These are a bunch of ugly welds, but again, they're just uh, tack welds. So let's uh, see if it fits, fits on the tractor. Slid on to uh, just the right length and everything, and just a little bit of space back behind it, which is what I wanted. So, looks good. I should be able to uh, take off that copper wire and uh, weld for strength now. Now with the coupler in place, there's still one more thing that I have to do before I can start working on the motor mounting plate, and that is I have to figure out how far away the motor needs to be spaced. What I really need to know is the distance between the 
uh, the face of the bell housing down to the tip of the Lovejoy connector. Uh, so to figure that out, I'm spanning it with a piece of flat stock, then measuring down to there, and then subtracting out the thickness of that flat stock. Uh, that way, I know exactly how far I'm going to need to space the motor back from the face here. And we'll work on that motor mounting plate in the next video. We're going to pull this plate out of the way, and that's what the motor is going to be uh, spaced back from and mounted to. Here we can see the coupler. Uh, not real pretty, but uh, certainly solid. And the other thing too is I can put my hand on there and spin uh, the transmission and PTO by hand, no problem. Seems to work well. Hope you like these videos. Please subscribe to make sure that uh, you're notified when the next video in this series comes out. And make sure to check out 300mpg.org for the blog, links, photos, and more. And until next time, stay charged up.